Well, I've promised a long time ago a detailed explanation about this, this, those two electronics controller and how this system really works. So let's get into it. The first controller here uh, feeds the fish, heats the water, irrigates the plants on my on my soil garden, and the second controller here does the pump protection in case of a leakage in case of a leakage water on, in the main tank will start to drop and as reach a certain level uh, a preset level the controller will turn off the pump in order to protect the fish a and a, they don't die like that so and also and also another feature that I add later was the water replacement system uh, this this first LED here is for the pump shows that the main pump is on this one is for a solenoid valve that allows water from my water reservoir on top of the house to get in into the tank and and refill it to maintain another another preset level so uh, this this potentiometer here adjusts this this level the level on the tank so I can easily adjust with a screwdriver instead of having having to hook up a computer on the serial part to adjust and uh, for example the the position where the pump is turned off here I have a here I have a couple of, of sensors one for one for show that there's low food on the on the automatic feeder reservoir and I also have connected to a digital, digital part here I have a temperature sensor a digital temperature sensor to, sh to actually show the temperature in this one I, I got a, a light sensor to show to determine when it's day and when it's night that one I got a, also a float, a float sensor to keep track on the water level on the tank what else, what else I think that's it and here I have a few set of adjustments that I can make I can establish the interval between between feeds, the feed time, feed duration actually, water duration for the for my garden, and the set temperature that the system will keep, will try to keep. Also, in that matter, I have a 700 watt heater. Uh, does does quite well unless it's really cold I got a I got the motor for the automatic feeder my heater and and the and the pump inside of the radio flow filter that feeds water to the garden that irrigates the garden so here's that solenoid valve that I mentioned that allows water in into the tank from the house reservoir. Here's a new automatic feeder. There's a laser barrier here. Oh, let me open that. There's a laser barrier there. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Yeah, there it is. The laser, and uh, I'll be out the air. A light sensor so can keep track when food's low and allow the electronic controller to take measure there it will actually reduce by half the amount of food that they get while the while the level is is low here's the float sensor it's actually a potentiometer 
uh, servo motor. It feeds information directly to the electronic controller. Inside the biological filter, I got a, a temperature sensor, a digital temperature sensor, DS20, DS20, DS18. Well, I, well, I gotta, gotta look it up. I forgot the, the number. But uh, here I got a, a, a pump from the. Well, I showed, I showed on the last video. It actually connected, connected all the way to the garden. Main pumps connected here. So yeah, basically it's that. I can keep the system running even though I'm not here uh, every day. Okay, thanks for watching.